brother and begged him to come back to the kingdom. I must fulfill the promise of my father. Now that I have heard he has passed on, it is even more important for me to follow this order. He has died just to keep his own vow true, no matter how difficult it may be. But what use do I have for a kingdom? And if we brothers must follow such an order, then allow me to stay in the forest in your place. I cannot bear this body, which is sinful, even by being born of Queen Kaike. Oh, my dear Ram, oh, I am impudent to even speak, but I cannot let this go on. I know that I do not have Dharma on my side. I know that I am in the wrong, but do this for me. Remember when we were children, when I would lose, you would make some arrangement that I could be the winner. Well, I am that same Bharat. So please, by any means, please allow me to be the winner this time. Please come home as king. My dear brother Bharat, I have already been won over by your deep love. I would easily lie for you myself, but this does not concern just me, but our dear father. Shall we brothers sully his name by shaming him and not following his promise? He had so much honor that he gave up his life and should we now embarrass him? Oh, sage Vashishta, please solve this problem so that my dharma stays intact, but everyone else can also be satisfied. I and all here are swept away in the love of Bharat. He has completely bewildered my sense of what is right or wrong. I see no way out of this predicament. Bharat's love is like an ocean in which we have all drowned. And yet, my brother has no pity for me. I will spread a bed of Dharva grass. And my Lord Ram, he can decide either he loves me more or I will sit and I will take a pledge of fasting till death. No, Bart, please do not place me in this dilemma. Oh, great personalities, the Lord of Udeha, Sita's father, Maharaj Janak, will be arriving shortly. This is very good news. Maharaj Janak is very wise and impartial. He will save us when we could not find the way. Let us adjourn and continue tomorrow, having Maharaj Janak oversee the two arguments and make the proper decision. A great council was held with Maharaj Janak presiding over it. Maharaj Janak was a great devotee of the Lord and was very wise and knowledgeable. Everyone had faith in his words and trusted that he would shine light on the correct path. My dear Bharat, what is your proposal? You should speak first. All I want is that my Lord Ram should come back and rule as king. It is true that our father gave this order, but that was under unfortunate circumstances. Maharani Kaike also participated in that decision. But the situation has now changed. There is no 
real purpose that Rome should stay in the forest. I am not going to accept position as king. That belongs to Rome. Otherwise, it is a great injustice if Rome, Sita, and Lakshman should stay in the forest. And Ram, my son, what is your response? My father agreed with the order to send me to the forest and to give the position of king to Bharat. Mother Kai Kei jointly participated, and my father remained silent. Monam Samiti Lakshanam. Silence is the symptom of agreement or consent. Now, Mother Kai Kei may wish to retract your statement, but this cannot be accepted because my father is no longer here. If he were here and just remained silent, then I could accept. But this is not the situation, so his order must be carried out. To make this decision is difficult even for demigods, and I am a mere man. Yet I am in this position, so I will do my best. Praying to my preceptor, Lord Shankar, I will try to answer. On Ram's side, we have Dharma. Dharma is religious principles and every person must follow its rules and regulations very carefully. It is of most importance, and under no circumstances should it be given up. However, there is one exception to this rule. One thing supersedes dharma, and that is pure love. Pure love, praying, is higher and crosses over the boundaries and obstacles easily. Bharat is speaking with a feeling of pure love. His case is superior. His praying, is, his praying for Ram is very deep, like a great ocean. And Ram's marjada, or strict adherence, the principles and rules and regulations of dharma is like a great mountain. Bharat's ocean of love has completely submerged that mountain. Bharat has won. And whatever he decides will be done. However, Bharat, it is true that your love is so deep that it has one. It is incomparable. However, Ram's mind has not wavered. Ram's mountain of Marjana has sunk in this ocean, but it will not move even one inch. Ram will do what Bharat wants, but Ram still desires to follow his dharma firmly. Now, Bharat should consider the principles of pure love, the principles of praying. It is true that praying completely overrules any, any of the rules and regulations of Dharma, but it does follow its own rules and traditions. Pure love is always totally unselfish. The very heart and theme of praying is that the one who loves will always try to please his beloved. He will never think of his own desires, but instead, minutely and carefully, he will fulfill the desire of his Lord. My question to Bharat is this, did you try to understand what Ram actually wants? Or did you become overwhelmed with your own desires? To be only thinking of what is pleasing to Ram is the real meaning of true love. Bharat, your case is stronger. 
you have won, but now you must decide what you shall do. Okay, Maharaj Chana, thank you for opening my eyes to what is the real and deep meanings of praying. I can now understand that I have been acting in complete selfishness, only thinking about what will make me happy. Oh, my dear Ram, you are so merciful that you have taken my impudence as love. I could never command you to do what you do not wish to do. So please order this pathetic servant of yours. Brother Bharat, you have won. You want me to rule this kingdom? So I accept your request. I will now act as the king of Ayodhya. Since I am king, you must now follow my direction. You should allow me to remain in the forest and fulfill the order of our father. On my behalf, while I am in the forest, you should become my representative and do the needful duties for this kingdom. Oh, brother, you are my father. You are my God. You are my everything. And so, even your smallest wish is my duty. Please, give me your sandals. That token of yours shall reign in Ayodhya until your return. And if you delay even a moment, I shall give up my life. And for 14 years, I shall remain on the outskirts of the city and I will perform the kingly responsibilities in your behalf. Worshipping your sandals every day, I will anxiously wait for your return.
want to know who has compiled this? Yeah. From where you collected? <laughs> Bharat, role is best. <laughs> and then Ram Chandra. <laughs> and then other <laughs> my blessings. If you want bhakti, then try to all follow bharat. Bharat bhakti is highest, and he is ideal for bhakti. So we should follow bharat. Bharat bhaiya ki. Bharat Sattrukna Lakshabad Bharat Bhaiya Ki Baby Ram Ram also played very good Where do you keep your hands? Due to pre-arranged family program of Mr. and Mrs. Burma There is no darshan tomorrow Hare Krishna Oh, man.